Jammu and Kashmir, where 13 districts in the state are going to the polls today uh, with 1,094 candidates in the fray. But the first phase of, on Monday saw a voter turnout of 8.3% in the valley, while more than 65% of the electorate voted in the Jammu and Ladakh division. Okay, let's go across now to my colleague Pradeep Tata joining us in the broadcast uh, this morning. Good morning, Pradeep. So, uh, Jammu Kashmir preparing for, uh, in fact, already going to polls in phase two of the elections. Uh, yes, elaborate security arrangements have been made for the phase two also to ensure free and fair election process. During the phase one, we saw that there was a gap between the Kashmir, Ladakh and Jammu region, while as people in large number came out to vote in Jammu and Ladakh region, but very few people because of the terror threats came out to vote in Kashmir region. But what is, was heartening was that despite terror threat, there were 32 percent voting in Kufara belt. That is considered to be a hotbed of terrorism and one of the known infiltration route. First bullet, in fact, 30 years back was fired in this particular region when militancy raised is just ugly head. And despite that 32% people coming out, that was really very heartening and good number. And then otherwise also we saw 14% people coming out to vote in Badgam region which is considered to be home district of Sayyid Salahuddin, Hizbul Mujahideen, Terror Commander. In second phase also you can see there's a lot of enthusiasm among the people. There's a beeline of women and other people standing outside the polling booth to cast their vote. This clearly indicates that somewhere the people of Jammu and Kashmir they have not only rejected terror but they have also rejected boycott lobby. I think everybody is asking one question to both PDP as well as National Conference because they had cooked up one excuse that 35A unless and until the state and the central government gives them a guarantee in this regard. Only then uh, uh, they will participate in election. People are asking question what 35A has to do uh, with this election which is basically about getting their basic problem redressed. Let's go for the reality check on ground and talk to the people. How you see? BDP or National Conference ne boycott kar aapko lagta hai ki anti people stand liya in dono political parties ne dekhiye desh pehle hai baaki cheeze sab baad mein hai inko election ke liye bilkul participate karwana chahiye tha sabko inko apni call nahi karni chahiye thi bitro Hope oh, both these political party leaders, Omar Abdullah and Mahbubah Mufti, had been listening to this person. They say the country is important and for country, democratic process is really very important. How come you just lose that representative character by just giving a call for boycott or not participating in election process? And 35A cannot be connected with this thing because at the end of the day, they have to get their basic problems like Bijli, Sadak Pani uh, redressed because this is going to empower people of the state. And once the people of the state are empowered, they will not have to knock at the door of these legislators to get their basic amenities and basic problems resolved. So they, they will be empowered enough, they will be having the capacity uh, to in fact spend of their own to get drains, uh, roads and other things constructed. So that is one of the reasons that the people uh, here are having uh, quite enthusiastic about this election because this election is quite significant. After 13 years, this election is being held. So they feel right. somewhere that the PDP as well as National Conference should not have given shot in the arm of the separatists and Pakistan proxy because they are the one who want to derail this um, election process and democratic process here in the state. And you can see since morning 6 a.m., the election process has started here in this region. And the, in fact, the line is growing and the people in large number are pouring in to come over to this place. And security arrangements are being made. In fact, the security is deployed at several vantage points to ensure right. free and fair election because terrorists had threatened. Because if we go by their threats, they, they said that not right a soul will be coming out. But in first phase, we saw... Despite all these terror threats, people in large number came out to vote. Right. Uh, Pradeep, stay with us. Let's also uh, talk about the Kashmir region this morning, where my colleague Mir Farid is now joining us live. Uh, Farid, uh, you know, t tell us what the situation is like there, because uh, the last time as well, security was uh, be beefed up to un sort of unprecedented levels. Uh, has the turnout been uh, better this morning? I know it's pretty early in the day, uh, but uh, w how are things looking there? Well, wherein it's a story of contrast, uh, you compare Jammu with uh, uh, Srinagar or Jammu with Kashmir, it, it'll be like comparing apples and oranges. Uh, in Jammu, there are uh, long lines, queues as was expected, same as the story in Ladakh, but once you come to this side of Pir Panchal, uh, the story is totally different. Now, uh, I'll ask Umar uh, to just uh, show you, in fact, uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, in fact uh, just outside a polling station since morning, hardly five or ten people have come. Uh, for uh, voting and that it probably would be the story of other polling centers as well. Now if we talk of uh, uh, the Jammu region uh, or the other regions uh, we had in the first phase as well, 
huge your polling percentages. In fact, I'll ask Kumar to just show you uh, what's happening behind me. Uh, it's all about security detail, more and more security force personnel, and that's that's something uh, that uh, uh, is is really the challenge for the security agencies because uh, the build up to these elections was uh, something that was. Uh, uh, least on what they would have wanted. It was uh, all about threats. It, it was about uh, boycotts. It was about uh, uh, poster warnings, video threats, and then you had two national conference workers killed as well. So that also had its bearing. But uh, unfortunately, if you talk of uh, the Kashmir Valley, uh, one won't be surprised if the polling percentages would be the same as was in the first phase. Uh, uh, it would be like. Uh, Dismal to say the least, but again, th th those are the realities, ground realities of the place where uh, it's more about uh, uh, security for the people, it's more about uh, uh, the struggle is to survive. And when you have a struggle to survive, these things really, everything else really comes uh, after that. So no one is really willing uh, to take uh, that, uh, uh, that, that chance. Uh, when his life is in the line of fire, and that's something that's happening in the Kashmir Valley. But again, uh, we'll have to wait and see how things uh, pan out. But as we have seen that polling, whatever happens, happens in the first part of the day. And probably just to increase the polling percentage, they had decided to change the timings. Now today, uh, from 6 a.m. polling started. Imagine uh, it is sunrise uh, happens at 6.30, so it was... 6 a.m. that they decided to start the polling. The motive was uh, to see whether this experiment may increase the polling percentage. We'll have to wait and see what impact uh, uh, the change of timing would have on the overall voting percentage. But as of now, again, it's more about security and uh, really everything else uh, comes after that. Viren? Right. Uh, thanks, Fareed. And uh, Pradeep, for joining us, we'll be uh, joining with you a little later in the day as well to give, get an update on what's going on there, both in Jammu and in Kashmir. Thanks for joining us.